So my first thing is uh, Set the Boy Free, the new Johnny Marr autobiography. Uh, we were on tour, we were driving through like the middle of nowhere. I got it on audiobook, but his voice is like really like soothing. It was summer 1968 and every day we would walk past Emily's corner shop and my mother would have to stop and wait while I stared up intently through the window at the little wooden guitar leaning on the shelf between the mops, buckets and brooms. When we were in the van, I'd be like trying to listen to it, like laying down in the van on like a long drive and I'd keep falling asleep. Hopefully you won't fall asleep. Right, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I got uh, Austria's Future Politics. Our friend Nick Steinhardt, who does most of our design, designed this record. He got a bunch of comps for this and he was like, you know, help me out. And so we were going over all the different like typefaces and she had a ton of like amazing photography done for this record. It's cool the one that they went with. That's kind of the story connecting it. And I haven't jammed it yet, but I like her uh, older stuff. I'm sure this will fall right in line. Hey, my first record I got here is uh, the first, the Silver Mountain Zion record. <laughs> Pretty sure the background behind this record is that it's somewhat dedicated to Ephraim's dog that died, but it's just like a hauntingly dark and sad and beautiful and kind of abstract uh, instrumental rock record. The song um, called 13 Angels Standing Guard Round Side Your Bed that uh, when I was like 18, I used to get like super blown and just like zone out <laughs> and <laughs> listen to it. I couldn't find the vinyl, but I did find the CD version of the new Drab Majesty, the demonstration, which Deus just put out. Everyone I know is talking about this record right now, and it's it's awesome. It's like a perfectly encapsulated like new wave, new wave record. Like, yeah, like it's 80s like a, goth record. A, it's, yeah, like it's, a weirder Duran Duran. It's good. It's really good. All right, I got another book here. Even if you don't like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, which I do like them, I like two of their records, or like two and a half, I guess. This is still like an amazing autobiography. It's like one of the best autobiographies I've read. Chapter one. Me, I'm from Michigan. I've been shooting coke for three days straight with my Mexican drug dealer, Mario, when I remembered the Arizona show. By then, my band, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, had one album out. Lindy, our manager, had booked us a gig in a steakhouse disco in Arizona. Like, it's kind of like a lot of people, when I like try and tell them about how good this book is, they kind of laugh at me. It's a really entertaining book, and you kind of get to see who uh, Anthony Kiedis, the human being, is. I'm gonna keep it rolling with friends. I'm gonna keep that theme. Again, another Deus release, Youth Code's Complications. It's really killer, it's like industrial done properly. They're just good people, great music. Brian is one of the best programmers that, uh, that I've ever seen work. I also got this repress of Definitely Maybe. A surprising amount of people that I know like Oasis have not really heard this record. Some amazing songs, like my friend Merrick always talk about the audacity of writing a song called Rock and Roll Star when you are not a rock and roll star. <laughs> and there's like all sorts of like T-Rex riffs. There's just, just a million. It's obviously, it's an Oasis record, it's great. I got Salem's Lot. I just did. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> cable or internet right now, I just moved into a new apartment. I do have a DVD player, so I'm gonna watch this probably right after this. You know it's a Blu-ray? I have a Blu-ray. Oh, you have a Blu-ray? Blu yeah. Oh, okay. 
Oh my <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, I also we wanted to get this uh, Morrissey Bohol and I. It's pretty much like Morrissey's like Britpop record essentially. I've made up your This is tied with Viva Hate for me for like his two two best records, literally front to back. It's amazing if you like Morrissey. This is the record where I started when I got into him, his solo stuff. So, uh, yeah, can't recommend this one enough. Kadama, the new All Sets record. It's sort of a return to form, I guess, to like their older records. The record before The Shelter was sort of like a straightforward uh, shoegazer album, and this kind of goes back to more of its uh, metal beginnings. Uh, this band's phenomenal. Uh, we were lucky enough to tour with them in early 2012. Uh, good people, good album, and uh, deserve all the support in the world. The Minor Victories record, the self-titled, it's uh, the new side project of Stuart from Mogwai and uh, Rachel from Slow Dive. It's like really cinematic, reminiscent sort of of like Mogwai's later like like later material, but with it's weird when you have Rachel singing over something, That's it cool. just instantly brings you back to like the slow dive vibe. Saying the good record, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what they do next. I wish I could call these guys friends. <laughs> I got uh, Crowbar's Sonic Excess in its purest form. Before we <laughs> moved here, we lived on uh, 24th in Vermont, sort of where like the Mission meets Petrero Hill in San Francisco. One of my good friends, Mikey Sachs, uh, loves this band, and we spent many a drunken night and many a <laughs> stone morning jamming this record. Uh, and I don't think I've listened to it as heavily since then as I did in that time period. It, I saw it and I was like, oh, yeah, one one for the uh, one for the shelf. It's a sure. classic Mikey record. Yeah. Absolutely. I picked up this Grave Miasma record. Pretty amazing um, UK death metal. My friend Chris Bruni runs this, this label, Profound Lore, um, and he's pretty much an encyclopedia of death metal, so if he's putting it out, it's usually safe to say it's gonna be pretty good. Dave Hall's Blood Bitch. subject matter, like <laughs> menstrual van vampirism, uh, can't go wrong. Yeah, I guess this is pretty much my last record. I got the uh, the Live in Leipzig Mayhem record. The first time we played Leipzig, we were backstage at the show just drinking to get over the uh, the jet lag, and someone brought up the infamous dead quote, the, come on, Leipzig, join us. Come on, Leipzig, join us, pure fucking Armageddon. So we just were yelling that for like an hour straight back there. <laughs> and then, it. There you go, it's even got the tribute to dead on the back, RIP dead. Thanks guys. Yeah, cool, thank appreciate you. It. Yeah, appreciate it.